Hello, super recap here. Today, I'm going to describe Harmony, a South Korean drama film. Before that make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get new video alerts. Watch out, there are spoilers ahead. The film begins with Hong Jong Hai giving birth to her son Min Woo in a prison hospital. The scene then shifts to a year later in a prison where the inmates are confined. For Min Woo's first birthday party, two ladies, Yeon Sil and Hua Jae, can be seen collecting items from other inmates. They later celebrate Min Woo's birthday since everyone adores him. When picking gifts from the table, the little boy chooses handcuffs instead of traditional gifts, surprising everyone. Later, they all pose for a group portrait. Suddenly, Chief Bang, a female officer, approaches the cell, and everyone becomes terrified. Chief Bang is a rude officer so she begins to search the cell, where she discovers a camera. Despite Hong's pleadings that she be allowed to keep the photos because it is her son's first birthday, the unpleasant officer drags everyone out of the room and shreds the group photo in front of everyone. Everyone, including Hong, looks devastated when she does this. Later, a heartbroken Hong is comforted by her inmate Moon Ok. Hong inquiries about Moon Ok's singing voice, and reveals that Min Woo sobs every time she sings. To express this, she begins singing, to which Min Woo immediately begins to cry. Suddenly, a bus arrives, carrying another inmate named Yumi. Yumi is detained in the same cell as Hong. Min Woo approaches her at this point, but Yumi pushes him away and says that raising a child in a prison will be a fond memory for him. When Hong hears this, she becomes outraged and begins to assault the new girl. When guards arrive and interrupt the brawl, they are separated. After that, the scene switches to a flashback. Someone tells Hong, who is silently riding in a car, that he has medical records on her husband's mental condition. The man goes on to add that the only way he can help Hong is if she speaks up. Hong's husband was shown to have assaulted Hong on a regular basis. A pregnant Hong is attacked by her intoxicated husband in the next scene. She pushes him back because she is tired of his assault, but he lands on a glass table and is accidentally killed. Hong abruptly awakens and finds that the flashback was only a dream. Moving ahead, a perplexed Yumi begins slamming her head against the wall, causing it to bleed, prompting guards to intervene. She remembers how she was forced by her stepfather and how she killed him. Officer Kong informs Hong that Yumi is a lovely person. She also tells Hong that Yumi killed her stepfather after being sexually assaulted for numerous years. Her sentence was reduced by 10 years after she learned the truth about the murder, but she had repeatedly attempted suicide before getting here. Officer Kong takes letters and gifts to the jail in the forwarding scene. While gossiping, everyone sits and enjoys the watermelon. Yumi enters abruptly, isolating her from the rest of the group. Min Woo approaches her and hugs her once more when he notices she is lonely. Moon Ok is shown contacting her daughter in the next scene, but her daughter quickly responds claiming she dialed the wrong number. Moon Ok's daughter is revealed to despise her mother in this scene. The inmates are forced to sit in a hall the next day where a choir is performing, and everyone appreciates it. Then everyone exits the auditorium, and Min Woo begins to play outside. Min Woo and his mother are greeted by the warden, who asks if everything is in order, to which she responds that everything is good. She then offers to start a choir in the prison as a reform initiative, which the warden enthusiastically approves. She also requests a favor, stating that if she does well at work, she would like a day off as a reward. The next day, word of the choir's formation spreads, and everyone gets excited. Moon Ok is approached about leading the choir, but she appears uninterested. Moon Ok's daughter pays her a visit, but instead of conversing graciously, she vents her rage on her mother and walks away. Yumi's mother arrives at the same moment to see her daughter, but she rejects to see her. Moon Ok, who is sad, begins playing a graceful tune on the piano. She recalls how her husband betrayed her and how she accidentally ran him and his girlfriend over with her car. While Moon Ok is playing the piano, Hong and Officer Kong enter the room quietly to admire the old lady. When she hears people clapping, she is horrified and flees out of the room, but Hong begs her to stay and lead the chorus. Without waiting for a response, Hong informs her that they will begin tomorrow after lunch and then exits the hall. The inmates are debating how to fix their choir problem on the ground when Min Woo approaches Yumi and hugs her once more. Suddenly, some inmates appear and begin picking on Yumi while pushing Min Woo to the ground. This enrages Yumi and begins fighting the other members of the group. Yumi's cellmates come to her aid when a massive brawl breaks out. In the next scene, Chief Bang becomes enraged and reports the incident to the warden. We can see Yumi has been badly harmed by the tragedy and is in the emergency room somewhere. Moon Ok is by her side, as she considers her to be her daughter. Hong also shows up, and she continues to court her for a spot in the chorus. Finally, she agrees and begins the audition and group selection process. Everyone, however, sings poorly, implying that they are not prepared to perform. Hong is summoned to the warden's office later. Hong is told by the warden why they aren't ready for the chorus. He explains to her that putting all the inmates in one location increases the potential for accidents, but Hong insists again and again. 
the warden finally agrees and gives them six months to prepare. Hearing this, Hong is overjoyed and returns to her cell. On the way, she comes across Yumi's lovely voice, which captures her attention. The detainees begin to practice together in the next scene, and Munoke instructs them on how to sing. Munoke then remarks that the chorus is almost complete and that all that is required is a strong soprano. Hong suggests Yumi for the part, but when she approaches her, Yumi begins to offend her. When Munoke hears this, she hits her and storms out of the room. Yumi apologizes for her acts after understanding her errors. She also decides to join the choir and performs in front of the other convicts, who are all impressed by her vocals. They all start training again the next morning, and as they are fixing their mistakes, one of the inmates misbehaves with Munoke, and they all start fighting again. She goes on to say that they must expose their emotions in order to sing freely. As a result, everyone begins to confess the reason for their imprisonment. Some of the stories are amusing, while others are heartfelt. Days pass, and they put in a lot of practice time each day. Meanwhile, Hong is working on her vocals. The performance day has finally arrived. The group performs in front of their fellow inmates and prison employees, and it is a huge success. Everyone in the hall enjoys the choir and cheers for them. Because the choir was a success, Hong is given a day off but the same day she also finds out that she has to let her son go up for adoption. During her day out she changes into new clothes and takes Min Wu with her. Everyone in the cell is sad. Hong then drops her son to the kindergarten and asks the caretaker to give the photo album to the parents who will adopt Min Wu. She then leaves Min Wu in the kindergarten but as she is about to leave the building she runs back to see her son for one last time. However, when she goes back she sees someone else holding her son and this brings tears in her eyes. Knowing that this would be difficult for both parties she decides to leave the building once and for all. After letting her son go, Hong is sad. She later rejoins the chorus group, hoping that music will help her heal. The choir meets on a regular basis to practice and perform. For years later, the choir is invited as a special guest to the National Women's Competition on Christmas Eve, allowing them to go out and see their loved ones. Officer Kong individually visits detainees' families and hands them the show tickets because many inmates were unable to communicate with their loved ones. Everyone is excited on the day of the performance because they haven't seen the outside world in a long time. One of the ladies loses her diamond ring just as the concert is about to begin, and the inmates are implicated. They are ordered to strip, but Hong refuses since she knows she is innocent and fights back. Their performance has also been cancelled at the same time. After a while, Warden comes to their rescue, and they head to the stage to perform their previously cancelled performance. They put on a fantastic show that had people in tears. A group of children then joins the choir. Min Wu is one of the members of that group. He is standing beside his biological mother. Min Wu does not know Hong, but Hong recognizes her son right away. Everyone reunites with their loved ones after the concert. Before departing, Hong gives Min Wu one more hug, and Min Wu's adoptive mother offers Hong a diary with several images of Min Wu as a child. Yumi also meets up with her mother for an emotional reunion. Munoke's daughter approaches her one day and immediately embraces her. While crying, she repeatedly apologizes to her for mistreating her. Munoke visits her daughter and son-in-law after being granted a day off. Munoke is treated with the highest respect there, and she returns to prison cheerfully. Her joy is short-lived, as the guards inform her that she is soon to be executed. Her cellmates learn of this as well, and they become quite emotional. She is the prison's oldest inmate and everyone considers her a mother. As the officers take her away, everyone begins to sing, and the film ends. Thank you for taking the time to watch and please leave a like to support the channel.